welcome 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 thank you so much for opening the video just a quick update on the red hills project well as you can see now the floor is in so we went with a kind of wood finish so this is one of the bedrooms or the bathroom there we're now actually well i'm actually now trying to clean it up so what i'm using what happens is that the tile will leave what we call grout haze right which is that white kind of hazy look you see on the tile itself so i'm using a basic household ingredient white vinegar right this is a cow's brand and what i do i use it full strength so right now i'm cleaning up inside of the bathroom because tony and the plumber <laughs> tony Ann is here and she's actually fitting up the pedestal basin so see she has all her accoutrements right there tools tools oh <laughs> accoutrements guys tools okay so she's gonna be putting on the what do you call that the faucet, the faucet. Mm -hmm. all right so we just picked up this faucet inside of phil's one of my favorite places to shop phil's hardware on constant spring road they're more than reasonable I mean, if you, you can build a hundred houses just buying from fields, right, Tony? Definitely. All right, so Tony, what are you doing now? Well, right now, I am going to put some pumice putty mm -hmm. around the base here. Oh, so there's nothing called plumber's putty? Yeah. That's the putty like what we use in school when we're making little things. <laughs> so there was a reason why we played with those things eh? so yes you roll it up like a spinach a while ago yeah guys you remember rice you remember not rice and peas what we call it stew peas stew peas with a pigtail right and yeah. the spinners in it oh my gosh <laughs> well we still have that in jamaica <laughs> i used to get that on a wednesday from my mommy um but no you know i just go to the restaurant and buy it because I'm I don't want to make it from scratch it takes a little time so I leave it to the professionals to do it so you put some plumber's putty around the base around the base of the faucet which is where those two um what do you call those two holes well three in this one three oh this is this has three but the, the faucet itself has two Right. So she put the plumber's putty there so that it doesn't, you don't have any leaks, correct? It creates a seal because what happens is the base of this is actually plastic. Okay. Right, so it won't um, adhere to the ceramic. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put some silicone to it. So buy, some, buy something called plumber's putty and then right now she's siliconing it around on the outer part of the plumber's putty as well. Alright, so you have to ambidextrous enough you can hold hold the, the silicone gun and the faucet at the same time all right so she put in the silicone right around that base of the faucet so that when it when it attaches to the itself to the ceramic basin you have a nice tight seal so you don't have um water see when you're using the faucet the water doesn't seep underneath but what's nice though is that um, like if you buy like a more expensive faucet like a Moen, mm -hmm. it actually comes with a um, pad already. Oh, so the, the Moen ones come with a pad already? Right, so it creates a seal for you. Okay. And you won't need to do this. Okay. It comes with an, with an additional attachment or... Okay, Almost so like a bedding. Like a bedding. Okay, so the Moens and the, the Deltas. Okay. Those are really expensive faucets, so we use those in um, homes, you know, those upscale homes. Although some persons put it in them like a $5 house, you know, $5 million house, guys. <laughs> but, um... So now I'm attaching the washers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she now attaches the washers. She put the washers first, and then this part is the... What do you call that part? Basically, it's like a screw or a nut, rather. It's like a nut, right? Mm -hmm. So you put on a nut now and you seal it, lock it up as tight as you can onto the washer. So is that the section, where does the flex tube go? Screw onto that? Yeah, flex tube goes onto this whiteboard. 
Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, it's so easy that was to, to do your faucet. So you don't need to call a plumber like Tonya. You know? Or you can call Tonya and give her the money, of course. Why not Tonya? <laughs> call her and get the money yet. But we're showing you how to do it, right? So if you, if you, if you can't afford a plumber like Tonya, right? And you like to do things, because that's how we learn it, you know, try not error. I mean, you can only break it. And then you break it, you just buy back another one, right? It costs you less than actually. It would cost you less than actually getting the plumber, who would probably break it as well. <laughs> no. The plumber is a professional guy, so if the plumber comes and breaks a fitting for you, then the plumber will replace it. So you see how easy it was to set up this faucet. So if you have to change a faucet, you can just go to the hardware like fields and buy a faucet and just get in there and change it. All right, so just a regular job now of screwing on the, the flex tube because the flex tube attachment, once you buy a base of flex, correct? That's correct. The flex tube attachment actually is designed to just screw on to these um, attachments in the pipe. So she uses a, what's that tool called now? Uh, wrench, adjustable wrench. So that's an adjustable wrench she's using to make sure that she has the proper connection. She has it tightened, right? That's what you use it for. Right. Okay, so it's a, it's a tightening tool or an adjustable tool so that you can tighten various size knots and those things. All right. So once we have that done, now what's the next thing you do? I'm going to attach the peel plug next. Okay, guys, so don't go away. We're going to attach the peel plugs next. All right, so thank you for staying. So here is the, the basin with the faucet attached. All right? All right, so we're going to be doing the, what do you call that now? Attaching the peel plug. The peel plug, which is the, the drain section of the face of the, of the basin. This is called a pedestal basin. You know you have different basins, wall hung and you have the pedestal, you have under mount. So we're using a pedestal in this bathroom. So you screw on a nut again, correct? Right, so it has a washer, a rubber washer on the inside, mm -hmm. and it has one on the outside, so it creates a Oh, so it has a rubber washer and a, it has a rubber washer on both sides, both the inside of the basin and underneath this right. side here. Okay, so you play, oh, it's easy, man. You just screw it up, man, and you're good to go. <laughs> so you don't need a plumber's potty or so? No. And you don't need any silicone or so? No. What happened if there was no plumber's potty? What, what happened? Because I have two washers, mm -hmm. I don't need the silicone. Oh, you have two yeah. washers. Sometimes okay. Sometimes it comes in only one, mm -hmm. and then you'd have to put the plumber's potty under here. Plumber's potty or silicone? Both. Well, it depends. You can use the plumber's potty or the silicone. You don't have the potty. Which one is better? I personally prefer the plumber's potty. Oh. The silicone, because of the water, tends to get black right here after a while. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Oh, that's where that black thing comes from. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the PO plug is in. So what screws onto that now? Uh, the P trap, actually. Oh, the P trap, which is that. Okay, right. so. Mm -hmm. To the part of the wall, okay, and then attach this part. Okay, but we're not ready for that yet because, no, yet. okay, because we're going to do the we're doing this the foot. Am I what we're doing next? We're gonna um, cut those pipes there, mm -hmm. put on the angle valve, and put on the trap adapter, mm -hmm. and then we attach this to it. Okay, so what about the base? Right, so we need to put up the um, the molds first on the wall, mm -hmm. and then. Okay, all right, great. All right, guys, so that's part one. So we show you part two. Thank you so much for staying. And remember, this is Claudia, 876-292-6776. Remember that you can subscribe and hit the like button, right? If you like, right, Tony? And if you like this video, and Tony, tell me your number again. Uh, 370-8138. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Have a beautiful evening. So, Tonyan is about to now put the basin onto the pedestal, correct? 
Why you nodding your head, Tony? Huh? Wait. <laughs> and I have Sheldon. Sheldon, say hi to the people. Sheldon. <laughs> Sheldon is a builder, right? So Tony is is learning this plumbing trade here, you know. So Sheldon is here guiding her as to what steps to take. So they have just silicone. Hold on. Turn around and show the people the silicone. So they have silicone the back of the basin because you know this is going against the tile right there. And they also silicone the top of the pedestal, correct? Mm -hmm. And the tailpiece. Alright, so here we go. So you have to be really careful now when you're putting down the base, alright, Tony Ann? It has to go, the tailpiece is going into the the trap. Which one of the trap that is again? PRS. What's the trap called? A P trap. So it sits in the P trap. Is it sitting in the P trap? It is it in the hole, people? She can't see if it's in the hole. Okay, it's in. Okay. So now what's left to do? Screw up the flex tubes. And then that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, was it so bad after all, eh? So Sheldon, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Where you actually work from? You, well, we're in Kingston now. But which other parish you work in? Papine? Papine is in Kingston. Portmore, St. Catherine. Okay. Montego Bay. Okay. And you do building from scratch? Yes. You have to talk up so the people can hear you. Yes, I do building from scratch. Okay, so you know how to line out the foundation, lay blocks and... You know how to build a whole house, right? It's not Sheldon build this house, but he could have if I'd known him earlier, right? Yes. Um, so Sheldon, some persons will want a general contractor. Give them your phone number. 495-4343. 495-4343. Forty-three, forty-three. Okay, Sheldon is a man of action, and I'm doing too much talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, no. there you have it. You can always call Sheldon, um, and he will contract your building. So, Miss Tonya, and are we now finished with this base? Uh, well, once it's pressure tested, then we'll be finished. Okay, it needs to be pressure tested, meaning you put water in the line. Right. At the pressure so that we'll know if, if a pipe and fly off you never do a good job, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right the pipe so the pipe birds, the pipe boss, the pipe boss. Alright. So you're going to be doing another one. And I guess by then you'll be very proficient at this, correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a beautiful Bye, evening.